We are in Reeling Park in Vieira, and today we're going to be checking out one of Vieira Builder's semi-custom homes, so stick around. Hey, what's up? We are in Vieira today. We are checking out a semi-custom home by Vieira Builders. We are in Reeling Park, which is in the eastern section of Addison Village. And actually, um, we are checking out part of the Rutherford collection, which is Vieira Builders semi-custom collection. And they're also doing something similar in one of their newer communities as well called Laresia. We are gonna be checking that out at a later time. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. So when that video drops, you'll be notified. So let's go over some basics about what we are gonna be looking at today. So this is gonna be the Serenos floor plan. It's a four bedroom, three and a half bath, three car garage. And like I mentioned, this is a semi-custom home. So it's got a lot of really nice features and you can just tell from the exterior, paver driveway, tile roofs, um, a lot more higher end than just the, the basic level stuff. So walk with me here, we'll start heading inside and I'll give you some more details on the house itself and the specs and then definitely stick around till the end because I'm gonna give you some more information about Reeling Park, what some of the fees are, what the amenities are, and then also pricing, which you can expect on something like this. So this is gonna be right around just under 3,200 square feet under air. It's 3,176. As you can see, it's got a three car garage. We've got four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms. All right, come inside. So check out the, the ceilings on this. Like there's so much space in this home. I love the ceiling height, crown molding, lots and lots of lighting everywhere, pre-wires for extra fans and fixtures. So what we'll do is we'll start off in the front of the home first, then we'll work our way through. I'll show you the master suite. We'll come back to the kitchen and then we're gonna talk pricing and more about Reeling Park. And as we get into it, I just wanna give a shout out to our friend, Sally Shen, for giving her the opportunity or giving us the opportunity to film this listing. So let's go up front here and you'll notice right off of the entryway, as you come in here, you've got a drop station which is also convenient to the garage, which is right here as well. So this is gonna be bathroom three. We'll call this bathroom three. It's a full bath, tub shower combo, dual sink there. Now the countertops in here, this is like a Corian style countertop, dual sink, soft closed cabinets, nice wood look tile. Got a full size linen closet here. And so this is gonna be our, we'll call this the guest bedroom suite. So that'll be bedroom four and full bathroom three, which is right off of the garage here. Nice epoxy floors, three car garage, attic storage. You can see the high ceilings are in the garage as well. So if you wanted to put some drop shelving here and get storage on the ceiling, you've got the ability to do that. They've also got the rough ends for plumbing. So if you wanted to put a sink out here in the garage, that would be really easy to install. They've got the storm shutters over here in the corner. And you'll notice there's no hot water heater in the garage. And that's actually because there is a gas um, inline water heating system for the house, so you, which you actually control right here. I'll take you guys out there in a minute if you wanna kind of see what that looks like. So let's finish off up in the front here. So off of the garage, you've got your two secondary bedrooms up here. High ceilings in all the rooms as well. Nice little walk-in closet. These do have carpet. Now this is a really nice higher end carpet. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's a lot nicer than what you would see in just a standard And let's hit this bedroom here. It's a little bit bigger because it has this little cove right here with an outlet. Not a walk-in, but double closet. High ceilings once again. Uh, this home comes with double pane windows. I do believe that the windows in the front of the house are impact rated windows. So that's gonna give you 
Obviously another discount on homeowner's insurance. Keep help keep that cost down. And so then right here, we'll call this our guest bedroom suite. And you'll also have the laundry room here, which has a, here I'll show you. It does have a small vanity with a utility sink. It's, well, it's not just a utility sink, it's an actual vanity, a little bit of storage up here. This is just the air handler for the air conditioning unit. But you've got plenty of room in here for washer dryer and you could still have a nice storage system here or even some more counter space if you wanted an actual uh, workspace in the, in, the, in the laundry room. And so then this will be the, the guest suite because it does have an attached ensuite bathroom here with a stand-up shower. Same finishes as we saw in the other bathroom with the countertops, tile work, and then the same wood look tile on the floors. And then you got a nice little walk-in closet here as well. Decent amount of space. So let's head back to the back of the home. Check out the master suite. We'll check out the kitchen and the other kitchen. Yeah, the other kitchen. There's actually two kitchens here. It's pretty cool. I'm actually really excited to show it to you guys. But don't look over there yet. Let's go this way. So this is gonna be the master suite. Off of the master suite hallway is, is a half bathroom. So when your guests come over, that's where they're gonna, that's where they're gonna get to go. And then as you enter, check out this master bath here. Walk-in shower, walk-in dual shower, dual vanities, massive, massive walk-in closet here. I mean, this is, this is great, great use of space. Also got a small linen closet here. And then follow me, check out bedroom, tray ceiling, recess lighting, nice three windows here. Everything's been pre-wired. So this is ready to go. It's a great, great use of space. I really, really like this master suite. I like the French doors here. I like the fact that it's separated from the rest of the house a little bit, but it still brings you right out into the main living area. Which speaking of, this is a, you saw this in the beginning, this is a really big, really big room. I don't have the floor plan with me, otherwise I would give you the dimensions on this. But you can see, you've got so much space here. Nice big island. You could easily fit four people at this island. Eating space over here. Check out this, this stone top here. This is a really cool look. Nice big sink, dishwashers right here in the island. You've got your built-ins with your oven and your microwave, Samsung appliance package, gas range right there. Samsung range hood. They've got the tile backsplash that actually goes all the way up to the ceiling there with the range hood and the crown molding. It's really well done. The refrigerator is not here right now because it is on back order, but there is going to be a Samsung refrigerator here that matches everything. And then check this out. This is the part that I wanted to show you guys. There's actually a prep kitchen off of the kitchen. So you've got a second dishwasher, another prep sink, full size sink, but they didn't spare anything here. I mean, it's, it's finished exactly the same as your kitchen is same backsplash, secondary refrigerator, obviously with ice maker, nice little walk-in pantry here. Let's get some lights on in here for you. So this is a really cool kitchen. I, I really like it. Um, I'll show you over here. This particular home is situated on a road. So you don't necessarily have any private view. It does have a hedge here, which will eventually grow in. Got a nice panoramic slider here. Nice lanai. That's the full width of the home. This is even plumbed out here for your outdoor kitchen. You've already got electrical. The plumbing's in place, the gas is here, so all this needs is the kitchen itself. And so let's come in here, let's talk about, let's talk about pricing. Let's talk about 
Reeling Park. Let's talk about HOA fees. And so this is the Karenos model, Karenos floor plan. Four bedroom, three and a half bath, three car garage, 3176 square feet under air. And as far as pricing goes, this home uh, usually starts at 790 to 800,000, not including the lot. So the lot premium is gonna be a little bit different, again, depending on the location, the, um, the, the back, whether you've got conservation or water view. So your, you know, I would say your, your estimated lot premium on something like this is probably about 50 to 60,000. So, you know, let's call it 850, 860 for a home like this with this type of lot. Now, the association for Reeling Park, um, it's actually, you know, there's a master association, a sub association. So there's, there's multiple HOAs, but the fees are actually very reasonable. It comes out to right about 1329 per year. So let's just call it $1,400 per year for all three. And those range from 230 to 480 to 620 per year. You've got access to all the wonderful Vieira amenities. You're right in the heart of everything that's going on. And people love the schools. I mean, it's really one of the top neighborhoods in the space, on the Space Coast right now. So if you guys haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to the channel right here. Definitely check out one of these videos next. I'll see you next time.